the forest provider of mankind gave a significant gift for weaving by providing wild plants. Weaving, the oldest surviving craft in the world. Historically, weaving has been central to indigenous women's contribution to household. Their work as a weaver was essential for the survival of important elements of ancient culture. Elonyu is a very special bust fiber from Noklak district. The fibers comprise of blending orange fria plant and stinging nettle. John Kim is a 90-year-old lady and a living artist from Langnok village since her childhood years under Noklak district. She and her late husband are farmers who educated their two children through farming and weaving as their livelihood. She is still practicing her skills to make ends meet, with new man-made materials coming into the market. The eco-friendly fibers have somehow lost its charm and the attitude of the younger generation moving towards fast fashion. These have somehow become a threat to the artisanal textiles and for the living artisans whose sole earning lies in the traditional skills. On the other hand, there are no young generation who look at this art as life skills, be it in the yarn making process or the weaving. Then a Yeah, <laughs> Before foreign goods were imported into our land, our forefathers goes to the jungle for harvesting raw bark from the wild plants and comes home, then the split and spin the bark, boiled, shed, pick and beat up, and then woven into clothes like Michaela and Charles, Kaune for women, shawl, 
Nacat Foman, Loim Ilay, and Bag Nekong. Her work is a testament to the reality that even if a handful of connoisseurs come together, these looms will not fall silent. <laughs> 